famous car exhibition turns out to be a disguise of cannibal chipmunks. A scandal of intergalactic scale happened at a famous truck exhibition on Earth after a, chipmunk, after a chipmunk attacked the visitors. The State Detectives Department stated the immediate, started the immediate investigation on this fact. However, it faced much serious th it faced much serious threat than a single attack. Looking under some cars at the crime scene, the detectives found the remains of broken nutshells, the nuts themselves, seeds, and other indigestible kinds of food. At the same time, various inorganic garbage was found there. After interviewing some exhibition workers, it became known that the chipmunks were seen here quite often. Linking the evidences of witnesses, the attack of the chipmunk and the detective and the detected evidence altogether. The detectives came to the only reasonable theory. Most likely, the shell under the cars remained in place of the killed and eaten homeless people who fed on unpeeled nuts and crawled into the exhibition grounds. Seeing such an abundance of easily accessible meat, a cannibal chipmunk horde began to form in the district. The SDD sent SWAT to the nearby forests, which reported about the apparent absence of chipmunks, which means that the horde migrates, and can appear anywhere in the country. In any case, this incredible investigation allowed the detectives to solve a lot of missing persons cases, both in the exhibition area and in neighboring districts. All the workers who participated in the investigation were specially marked by the leadership, received enhancements and medals of honor for the heroism they displayed. You know... If they were cannibal chipmunks, wouldn't that mean that they subsisted entirely on other cannibals? Hmm. Hello, everyone. Or, 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 no, on other chipmunks. Yes. Someone who only eats cannibals. I'm not sure what that would be called. I mean, still technically a cannibal, but you think it would be a special distinction. Anyway, welcome back to Breath Edge. Uh, yes, the only thing I really found searching throughout was this soda vending machine, which... I, I guess let's give it a try. Ah, yes, of course. I see. Before using such water, it's recommended to boil it first and then pour it out. Yeah, yeah, that's uh It's interesting that it came out perfectly cube-shaped. But I guess soda is made out of honey in this universe. That's uh interesting. Really that that whole thing was very interesting. Yes. I am now mildly lost. Let's see if we can, uh, exit, I suppose. Or at least run away when head is on fire room. Good. Excellent. Yes, yes. So, let's just keep on, uh... I, I guess, let's just keep on searching through the debris and see if we can find anything to, uh... Let's see, our two... Our two objectives right now are to build a service module, which I think I can do that with my dispenser now. If I... Uh, compartment, power, airlock, research, oxygen, small, interphone. Now that's modules, tube, habitation, medium service. So I would need two construction kits and some electronics. That's relatively easy. Otherwise, I need to find a substance with the properties of mayonnaise, and then I need to find six places where to go to lower the radiation. So that's a bit of an open-ended objective, that it, the game is kind of uh, just leaving it up to me to solve that one. Ah, so let's just keep on exploring this uh, big wreck here. Let's, let's see if there's anything to be seen. I mean, these comms dishes certainly do look rather promising. And there's lots of big ships and stuff around. Some of these might have steering wheels for me to plunder. Because I do still need to find two more steering wheels. Let's see, let's get on back there. Something was being assembled here. You don't say. Hmm. Fire extinguisher, eh? 
Fire extinguishers are rarely used on spaceships because you either burn something and blow up the entire oxygenated ship or not, and you have nothing to extinguish in this case. Although such cases do happen. Yeah. Oh, take that with me, I guess. Fires are a, a pretty devastating thing to happen in space, especially if you're using high O2 mixtures. Really something to worry about. Oh, hello. A photo of the liner. It seems that during one of the stops, someone flew out of the liner and took a picture of it at quite a distance. Neat. Ah, this must be where the vacuum bike was born. Excellent. Ah. I think I'm more or less full up on my inventory, and it's time to go and uh, deposit some stuff back home. Yeah, that sounded like a plan. There we go. Now I'm just gonna sort away everything. You know, this can go in a slot. Is this something I can actually use? No, it's just kind of a... It's just kind of a display piece. I was thinking that, you know, it might be part of a, a thruster assembly or something, but no, I guess this is just something we can have for show now. God, I hope that eventually I get some sort of transport like the jet bike that has uh, built-in storage to help me cart things. Because when I finally start building a proper base, moving all of the garbage into it is going to be something of a chore. Babe, I found very dangerous place where my signal get lost. You definitely need to look there and make sure that it's dangerous. Y yes, we wouldn't want to bring you there by accident, babe, I'm sure. Back to it, I suppose. Let's take a closer look into the electrical tape zone. And maybe work our way towards... I think the uh, hint there was giant fat man, apparently. Can I check out this ship? I guess not. Oh no wait, there's an there's another shawarma. That means I can make the thruster. Yeah! Sweet. Oh yeah. So I, I guess I just missed that shawarma my first time through. I imagine that if there was a significantly larger amount of people watching this, they'd probably be yelling at me. I wonder if, after enough time, resources will respawn, or if they're just depleted forever. I suppose that if there was anywhere I could test that, I would be back at the starting zone. See if any of the places I know I've relatively well depleted, like the, pl like the uh, giant paint zone, or some of the asteroids, see if they've regenerated. In any case, we have two shawarmas on hand now, so... Let's see. Yes, two shawarmas, two refined metal, and two yellowish water. Well, yellowish water we can make out of ice. Quite a lot of ice, if I recall. Mm, da, 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 da. Was it under food? No. Common resources. Yes, four pieces of ice. And I don't think I have any more refined metal on me, but I can make that too. So I just need to find some ice and some metal. That's an easy enough ask. There, that should be a sufficient amount of ice. Just easy as you please. Might as well compact that down right away just to save inventory space. Babe, green universe is to blame, I know for sure. Save me, we must, we must reveal truth to the world. That actually sounds more, um, 
that that sounds more cogent and um shall we say it, it sounds less lethal than babe usually is hmm actually two three four one two three four yep I can make refined metal right now oops I keep forgetting that it's a common not a composite. And there we go, the large accelerator. It'll be nice just in case, uh, just in case the bike runs out of fuel. So let's see, what will this change on our little icon there? Oh, <laughs> okay. Yep. We've reached the point that uh, we don't even like our own perfume anymore. Let's see what... Oh, I see. It's building up two bars on the sides now. Interesting. Interesting. Let's let that fully charge. And let's see what we can do. 10, 11. And it lasts a lot longer. That's the real... Yeah, we can now cruise for a good little while longer. That's nice. That's real nice. Zoom. Is there anything in the lower deck of this place? No, that's entirely beaten up. This place got real beat up. Oof. Man. That's a way to go, all right. Honey Star Ointment. An excellent remedy. It gives a burning sensation when applied, stimulates, irritates the skin, and distracts from any illnesses. Three whole dang liters of it. Oof. Look at those bubbles move. Oh, let's take it and see if Suit has anything to say. Unfortunately, this awesome remedy does not cure breaches or depressurization. Well... I mean, you need to be a little bit creative. I bet that if we shoved it up into the hole, then then it might do something. Man, more light bulbs inside of those tape recorders. What's with that? A tiny little tape recorder had more than that entire than that entire um, suitcase. Yeah, lots of light bulbs. Neat. What's going on over here? Oof. Shark mug? These mugs are sold in the central dolphinarium on Earth. Ship uh, sharks have been completely exterminated a long time ago, but they still manage to injure hundreds of people every year, even when they are in the form of such unsafe mugs. Hmm. The deep red color of the gullet would probably make this a good mug for wine. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. A dangerous predator, although in this case the predator just stuck to the floating remains. Yeesh. Some more evidence of the fire mm -hmm. in the modules. Apparently, the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. Wow, one hell of a barbecue they had going. <laughs> Zoop. Then again, if you're taking the habitation modules near the engineering bay, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into, I think. Wobbly toy? Nobody knows which iconic person was re re was recreated in this toy before the incident, but now you can scare children with it. It somehow reminds me of a logo on TV I saw somewhere on Earth. The little frog clinging to the head is interesting. Eh, I don't see the need to terrify any children anytime soon, so I think I'll just leave that there. 
Ah, resin. Sweet. Definitely want to get a good supply of that going since we are making extensive use of the bike. I'm going to need to build a new grabber next time I stop by the base. I think I need metal for that. Yeah, sure. Let's go and turn in our collection. And I think I have more or less exhausted the electrical tape zone. So next up, I guess I'll try pushing beyond. Maybe we'll grab an oxygen station to take with us. Just bung that all right in there. These things will just hold on to in a nice, safe place. Okay. Um, I wanted to make another grabber. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything nearby for me to exhaust the current grabber on after I make a new one. Okay. Refined metal, battery wire, aluminum. One, two, three, four. Aluminum, battery, wire. New grabber. And I think I saw a flash of a resin canister somewhere nearby. We'll use that to finish exhausting our current grabber. Yeah, here it'd be. Ooh, construction kits. We are getting so many dang light bulbs. There we go. And yes, I think that while I'm here, I'll definitely be refueling the bike. Let's just get some more metal to help accomplish that. Babe, something explored with great force here. You come to see? Well, I mean, cool guys always look away from explosions, babe. But, um, I, I think we've established that uh, my cool factor is low enough that, yeah, I can look at explosions. It's an advantage, really, you see. The, the, the lack of social awesomeness means that I'm capable of perceiving things that, that people with, uh, Slightly more charisma couldn't, yes. It's kind of Lovecraftian, you know? Forbidden knowledge. Ah, there we are. Now, I believe I should just be able to take one spare resin, and that should be enough for three fuel with all the metal that I have. Yes, there we go. Lovely jubbly. And I need another handy scrapper. And the rest can go into storage. I think two construction kits was what I needed to make the... Um, to make the... Service module, yes. Ah, yes, I, I should say... A surface module with eight replaceable blocks of walls. The best option to start building a large space station. Electric and oxygen generators, a research table, and interphone. All this will fit, and there'll even be some space left. Neat. So I can make a power generator. I can make an oxygen generator. Hmm. So it looks like... It looks like bases... Each com each compartment is going to deplete a little bit of oxygen and increase breach chance. 
So I imagine that you need to build, like, reinforcements and additional, like, yeah. Is there anything that gives positive breach chance? Yeah, medium surface module gives plus four, plus two, plus two. So structural components increase breach chance but cost oxygen. Well, oh wait. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they increase. So is there anything that gives negative breach chance? No. Not seeing it. Not seeing anything that gives negative breach chance. So we're kind of limited by the size of our base, I think? Hmm. Oh yeah, Kenatrons. I unlocked the ability to get, build Kenatrons. What, are, what is that all about? I imagine that's a positive. Uh, Kenatron. All my knowledge about Kenatrons is limited to my childhood memories of me throwing them at the wall. I remember my grandpa explained how they work and what kind of current they rectify, but I, I, I didn't listen to him carefully. I hope that if you just plug them into the right sockets, nothing bad will happen. Neat. Alright, so yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to need to find some place to put down a base, in fact. Yeah. What's it going to take? Medium service module. Two construction kits and a batch of electronics. It's really damn simple, actually. Two in electronics. So if I see anywhere that's good for... And, oh yes, I probably want to build, like, a power generator and a... Small airlock, and uh, so it's maybe not that simple. So that'll be an aluminum and two titanium. And then... Let's see, power generator. That'll need two more aluminum, two more titanium, and a generator. I'm going to need to pick up some more titanium. Yeah, I'm going to need four more titanium. Possibly more, depending on what an inductor costs. Nothing. So I need to go find four more titanium. I've seen a bunch floating outside. That's easy. have a few more just for luck. There we go. I'm gonna need this generator. And some aluminum. Do I need that for the, uh, yeah, two, three, four. I need four aluminum in total. Now I just need that inductor. Metal, plastic, and two wire. There. And that should be everything I need to throw together a base somewhere out in the wilds. Let's maybe pick up some extra aluminum just in case. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, let's let's journey out a fair ways. See if there is a good spot anywhere for me to set down some roots.
is looking to be that part of the of the game where we might want to finally decide where we want to permanently live. All the objectives seem to be kind of pointing this way. So maybe if we find a central point that's kind of in between them all. Like maybe where this bomb thing is, kind of? Or, hmm. There's objectives over there, objectives over there, objectives over there. This bomb might be central-ish. Let's look around this rock here. See if there's... See if anything stands out to us as a good spot. Purple thing? I see purple. That's interesting. I will mark it. Oh, okay, thank you, suit. Looks like some storage for beef fuel pellets. They don't make these nowadays. Beef fuel. Okay. I'm game. Sounds like it can fuel both my bike and my body. Oh, wow. Yeesh. Explosives. That should be fun. A container for transporting beef. Its casing is bloated, which indicates possible damage to its contents due to bad transport conditions. I don't recommend approaching such containers because of their possible explosion. This type of fuel can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow, not even with electrical tape. A living synthetic cow. Please be careful with artificial beef. This product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. Okay. <laughs> what did they do to those cows? Well, this is, uh, this is certainly a fascinating exploration of, uh, of the lore of genetic engineering, I suppose. Hello, what is this? It's a thingy. Fascinating. Let's burn a few candles. Okay, so we got things over there, things over there, things over there. Maybe... Kind of over here... Ish. So there's two philosophies I could take. I could search for an area that's near a bunch of resources, or I could search for an area that's kind of central to all the plot. Is there anything I could do that would give me the best of both worlds? Like, what's the resource density around the purple thing looking like? What is that? Suit has nothing to say. Good grief. Is that ice cream of some sort? Mm, it's forming pebbling on it. Goodness. Like it's outgassing from the inside or something while it was freezing. Hmm. No resources in the area, though. Yes, I'm aware. Don't worry about it. I have the solution to your woes. Just looking for an area that has a few resources I can chip on. Turbines of this size and design were usually installed in old space stations. Hmm. Multiple electromagnetic anomalies detected. There may be some breakdowns in the work of complex equipment in this area, therefore the Breath Edge Company assumes no responsibility for the behavior and performance of the funerary spacesuit. Although I doubt I may have any problems. Yeah. Boys, I will mark it. Children again. Of course, I hope they manage to escape through this jam smeared hole. Yes, jam. 
and th they escape perfectly safe. If I were a kid, I would definitely not want to fall asleep with a Breath Edge Nightlight in the room. Terrifying. Yeah, I'm thinking the real estate here is looking a little bit, uh, dead childish. And when I burn my last candle, that's when I'll turn around and head back home. If I don't find a place to live. Hello. This has some titanium near it. Interesting sparky thingy. It's nearest to some asteroids that might have blisters on them that I could poke. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We're a couple kilometers out from plot devices. We're kind of right between all of our uh, plot stuff. There's a few resources at least. Okay, I guess we won't be retreating. We'll be seeing what we can see. Babe, you have built your own station. I see signal. You can build different stations around, but it is very unreasonable. You have to quickly get into core and stop it. Babe, did I warn you that building different stations in space can drain your life force and you die miserable? Don't build anything. Please fly to core or look for me. And yes, I obviously don't have air right now. But, uh, no, and I, I'm, I'm going to burn a candle just to be safe, because I don't think I have enough time. Yes, start with oxygen. Babe, I see data that the overall oxygen level is constantly rising. It's not your fault. You not open some valve, not create new oxygen and debris. You not want to blow us all up? Yes, oxygen is very flammable. You need to be careful about it. Let's put the... Power module right there, I suppose. Babe, what kind of interference I hear? What you do? You repair something? It's not in the ship. Don't not leave without me. It's not a ship, babe. It's it's just me doing my thing. It's fine. It's fine. Be cool. It occurs to me. Do I know how to build a processor? I don't know how to build a processor, do I? Well, we don't have a new home yet. Yeah, research table, though. When you have some extra resources in your pockets and you want to learn something new, you can use your intelligence and play a researcher. The suit will tell you what to do. The table will show you where to go. Your hands will do something. And voila! Another useless blueprint in your collection. Okay, so... I need to build this research table, I guess, and that should hopefully unlock more recipes. So I'm going to need three aluminum, two thick electrical tape, two resin, and I already have some titanium. And hopefully this base, yeah, I see it. This base has a uh, icon on it. So I can find my way back here nice and easy. That was silly of me. I should have realize that I couldn't build a processor yet. Still, this does show that for a significant resource investment, we can build a permanent oxygen station, as it were. Yeah, and see, that's, that's even our objective right now, is build a research table. It looks like this giant ship testicle was full of water and cooling gel on the inside. So it's probably the new ice hole. 
Oh yeah, we can get back with plenty of time. So I think the thing that I need most right now is I need aluminum in order to build that research table. Yeah, and I do not have much in storage. So I'm going to need to go out hunting with a drill. And I need a new drill, in fact, I think. Lovely. Thankfully, drills are pretty easy sleazy to build. Now, let's see about some of these new things we've unlocked. Beef pellet. Synthetic biofuel obtained directly from a synthetic cow. It's a product of natural processing of plant food with minimal addition of other combustion products. It's the cheapest and least efficient fuel currently used for heating industrial premises of remote corners of the galaxy. Just needs two pieces of synthetic manure. Explosives. If you, bull up, if you blow up one can of beef, you can lose an important part of your body. If you blow up eight cans, you can start another war. That's why there's only six here. Safety first. And yet it only uses two cans of beef for the recipe. I guess the rest of them we build out of wire and electronics. Hmm. Fascinating, really. Yeah, what could we need explosives for? That's that's worrying. There hasn't been any combat in the game so far, unless you count beating around rocks. I suppose it is a bit of a fight getting your rocks off. Okay, so let's hunt down some aluminum. Always hunting for those elusive blisters. At least I do know what to look for now. That early game aluminum grind where I was beating around asteroids for hours was just embarrassing. What is up here? I don't here? even know if he was either trying to plug the potato into the generator or power the generator from the potato. We used to conduct similar experiments at school, but using such a design for serious purposes, this is too much. No, no, I think he's on to something here. Yeah, we can't deny this scientific brilliance. We need to, we need to take this with us. That might be something that we can study. Learn the secrets of his mind. The downside of having such a big oxygen tank is it now takes an actual noticeable amount of time to fill up. Yeah, see that? That just takes a good long while now. Let's take one of these with us just for safety. Let's take a couple just for additional safety. Huh, resin canister. I think resin is one of those things that I just want to always gather when I see it. Because it would be a tragedy to lose access to the bike. That is interesting. Did someone melt through a rock? Huh. A small airlock that lets the liner's workers go into outer space. Neat. I already have a thing for a small airlock, but okay. I need a scanner. Corridor airlock. Okay. We have so many flavors of airlock now. Eh? Neat. Lycoplasma? Okay. Cool. Babe. I forget to remind you again that you cannot fly to Normandy. They kill you, I know. You know, I bet the hilarious thing is going to be that she's right. Radiation-proof captain makes me think robot or coffin bot or whatever. And we all know what the coffin bots are like from the intro. Lycoplasma. 
The charge of a beam weapon is not just a beam of atoms, but it's also unique liquid plasma, a substance that allows you to inflict maximum damage to the target. It can also be used to make a working discharge cell. Nonsense, of course, but that's how it works. Probably. Oh? Aha! Okay, now that we have the rarest of ingredients found, we're just going to need two thick tape, two resin, and a titanium. Well, that's easy enough. I have exactly enough rubber, I think. It do. All right, yep, that is exactly what we need. Okay. Now, let's see what this research station thing is all about, and will it help us? Let's just make this nice and centralized. Babe, I see clear I used the database of Leinler. I hope you're not looking for classified information that will make rescue team kill us. Better not download anything in flight to core. Research the electrical engineer spacesuit. Huh. Oh. Oh. Enhanced handy scrapper. I've been looking forward to that. Okay. Soil analyzer? Scraper? This is exciting. Chewing gum? We can make more of that. Okay. If modified, a blue... Hmm. Okay. Military equipment, enhanced flashlight. ZAZ-1 vehicle. Rocket vacuum cleaner? Huh. So I guess we could make our own rocket vacuum cleaner if we really needed to, but this looks like the real upgrade. Bribe? <laughs> we need to research how to bribe people. Okay, so what, the electrical engineer is what it wants, but uh, both of these are radiation protection plus 75. Goodness, there's so much to do here, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me make a processor in here anywhere. I don't see anywhere to tab over. Hmm. Yeah... I'm not seeing any means of making a pro Oh, the processor is part of the research table. That's wonderful news. Okay then. Yes, in that case, in that case we do in fact have a new home. Wonderful. Beautiful. So, between episodes, because yes, this does look like a good place to end things. Between episodes, what I think I'm going to do is I am going to go and I am going to go back to Grandpa's ship and go back to the hovel and I am going to move over as all of the stuff that I've been storing up in the suitcases and the suitcases themselves. So between episodes, I'm going to do a little bit of grunt work, schlep all of the crap we've been building up right up to here. Can't interact with that at all can't interact with that at all. So there's no way to see the station statistics, at least not on the station itself. It isn't showing when I build anything new. I guess if we run into problems, we'll just see it when they happen. But yes, between episodes, I'll gather up all the stuff. Maybe I'll place down some decorations, rebuild Grandpa Shrine again. And until then, have yourselves a lovely, have yourselves a lovely evening. I will see you again soon.